So the family that we delivered to um, was a husband and wife and three children, and the husband had been hurt uh, on the job, I believe, and had been out of work for a long time on disability. They were super, super nice people, humble, but they didn't want us to come to their house. They didn't want to meet us. In fact, all of their story was given over text or email because she was so embarrassed of their living conditions. Eventually, when, we, when it came down to deliver, they did agree to let us come, and um, they were just the best people. When I got to the apartment with, the, with load number one, meeting them, I could tell that there was just some shame, um, just, just some hurt. Uh, in their story and, and why we were there. We bought a coat for the mom who didn't even want to put her name on the list because she just wanted her kids provided for. As a mom, I could totally resonate with that because we typically take a back seat to, um, to our kids. But I was persistent and I made her give me at least one thing that she wanted, so we got her a winter coat and um, she loved it. It was, it was my daughter and I and can only carry so much, so we brought trip number one, and we set some stuff down and said, hi, how you doing? And they pretty much said, thanks, this is great, see ya. And we are like, oh no, we've got, this is, this is just trip one number one. We had to go down, and six trips later, we just filled their living room. I, I could tell that the, that, that the mood was getting lighter and lighter, and they were just, um, especially the mom, was just becoming more and more overwhelmed that this was going to be a special year for their family. This is a way that we get to just be the grace and the love that we're called to be as followers, um, that Jesus wants us to just love one another and not an easier way that you can do this so profoundly and so, so easily. And for our family, it's, it's been tremendous. Wouldn't, wouldn't change any of it.